Alright, here's a quick little review of Division 2 ways, so you don't have to go back and watch the whole partitive versus um, subtractive methods video again. So we've got 6 divided by 2, and one of the most common ways to do that is to take the group of 6 and break it into two groups that are even. Okay, the way we did this in the previous video was we actually had the 6 and we had plates and we shared it out. We were boom, 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 boom. So this technique is called, as you know, Prototive, the more technical term that may well be on the praxis exam that you take. Or dealing out, which was shown really clearly in the video earlier in the semester. Or sharing, because you are sharing the six things with two people evenly. Now for the next technique. Using the measurement concept of division, you have six things and you're being asked how many groups of two can we take away? from 6. This would be repeated subtraction. So we can take away 2 from 6 1, 2, 3 times. So this one ends up with 3 groups of 2. So here's our 1, 2, 3 groups. And that was again called the subtractive or measurement. Here's the language that goes with that operation for um, the partitive, remember we started with six pennies and then we wanted to um, figure out how many would be in each group if we shared evenly into two groups. So we ended up with our answer three being the number of things in each group. Whereas with subtractive measurement, it was we started with six things and we wanted to know how many groups of two we could take away from six. So the answer here, the three, is in the number of groups. Three groups of two can be taken from six. And this will be really important as we move in to the fractions. And also you might want to recognize the correlation between this and the one we did a little bit ago. Um, the difference between the commutative property with multiplication. So whether it's two groups of three or three groups of two, here it's kind of the same problem, and here it's different ways of looking at um, a division problem. So the commutative property and the two different ways of looking at division are very closely related.